Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Mountain West action just about set to go. Players wrapping up warm-up. Kickoff coming up. Thanks for checking out the pregame show. NCAA College Football action coming up next with Brad and Kirk on the call. David and I will see you at halftime. Williams has the ball set how he wants it, and we're just about ready to kick this game off, folks. Final game for these seniors on their home field. Some will get to the next level and play some more football. Others, they'll be putting the helmet on for the final time. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. Nice run there as they work the outside. Nevada has got a guy that statistically is leading the conference right now, and he has got the attention of everybody in the country, including the coordinators. Nice run to the outside. The thing I love about this guy is he can throw the ball, he can run it, and that's hard to stop. Sixteen yard line. He wasn't decisive at all on that option, and once he kept it himself, there was no place to go. And he tackles him hard at the 26 yard line. He caught some key blocks and was able to turn it into a 10 yard gain. Tackle made at the 29. He's knocked out of bounds at the 29-yard line. Second and 10. Ball on the 29-yard line. Pass incomplete, trying to get it to his receiver. You know, sometimes the toughest throws to make for a quarterback is when he has a wide receiver wide open, and everybody in the stands is saying, throw it, throw it, and you aim the football instead of just getting back in rhythm, stepping, and throwing. And that time, he aimed the ball, and it was incomplete. That was a laser across the middle. Hill picks up about four yards with a catch. Marshall awaiting the return. Marshall fields at the 29. He makes it out to maybe the 46-yard line. San Diego State's a team and a program that year in, year out, has got 1,000-yard rushers. Sometimes they've got two, and they've got that huge offensive line, and, you know, you get too worried about them, and sometimes you can overlook the fact that you throw the ball. It's going to be tough today for this defense. I think they're going to have to take some chances and load this line of scrimmage. And, you know, as a play caller for this offense, when you have such a gifted running back, it opens up every aspect of the offense. I mean, the play-action pass with this running game, you get those linebackers and safeties coming up close to the line of scrimmage, it's a great time to really open up and show what you can do as a complete offense. It'll be a challenge. He's at the 40. Tackle at the 35. If you can consistently run effectively like this, it'll force the defense to pay more attention to the run, and that creates chances in the play-action passing game.
from the 35 yard line. First down. The back gets three on the carry. Nice play here by the senior to make the sure tackle. It's not very often that someone's able to shake this guy. First and ten. Ball on the 21-yard line. He might have a chance. Makes it to the 11. They're eating up a lot of field on this drive. I'm really impressed with their ball control. McDougal gets him about three yards with a completion. Second down, seven yards to go. Eight yards out. Goes to the end zone, and he's got the halfback. Touchdown. Decided to go to the running back on that touchdown pass. Just a nice job by the quarterback of showing great patience here, going through his progressions, finally finding the back to get into the end zone. And he tacks on the extra point. It was a seven-play, 54-yard drive, and they put up seven points. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. So the score now, 7-0. He gets out to about the 25-yard line. San Diego State's in the driver's seat right now, but it's still early, Kirk. Yep, very early in this game, but you got to love the feel for it as far as they're concerned. They came up with a stop, and then they get points, and right now they're out of the game. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. And he's tackled right around the 38-yard line. Runs outside for a nice gain. A nice seven-yard gain on the option keeper. That'll make it second and four. Check, check. Two, and three, and nine. He steps up. Fires out to his wideouts, and he's hit before he can go anywhere. the stop at the 44. And down he goes at about the 29-yard line. push him out around the 22-yard line. So it's second down and about two yards to go.
down at the eight yard line. This game's already shaping up to be a good one as we head to the second quarter. So the Aztecs with a touchdown lead. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. They hand it off again. He's taken down around the five-yard line. Quick throw, incomplete. One of his receiver. From the five-yard line, second down. They go to the back, and he's hit immediately in the backfield. That is a loss of two yards. That makes it third and goal. Here's the 12th play of the drive. They come out in an empty backfield. Passes left, gets it out to the halfback. Touchdown, Wolfpack. Short pass for the touchdown. Boy, what a great story. They've talked about the commitment that this guy has made in practice to make himself a more complete player. He has spent many extra hours catching ball after ball. And right there, it paid off. Here comes the kicker to try to tie this game up. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Across the 30, and he's tackled at the 33. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. And he carries the ball for a nice game. That brings him second and five. Second and five coming up here. Ball on the 38. Had his hands on it and dropped it. They're really fortunate that wasn't intercepted. Not a very smart decision by the quarterback. He had no shot at completing it. Throws back the other way, incomplete. And that'll bring up a punting situation. On third down, the defense was expecting the pass. And they defended the play very well in the secondary. Moore is waiting for the snap. He's to the 40. He gets out to about the 42-yard line. They've been like a couple of fighters feeling each other out so far. Let's see if they start to open it up a little bit more now. He's tackled at the 37. I don't think the play developed the way it was supposed to, and the net result is a loss. From their own 37-yard line, second down. They come out in a five-wide set. Dumps it out left to the running back. What impresses me so much is the guy's vision. He read the coverage perfectly to find his man for good yardage. Quick pass. Brought down at the 49. That's a gain of one on the play. That brings up fourth and three. Miller is the punter. Yeah. 
He drops it. Turkey broke the cardinal rule there. He ran without the football. You know, as a return man, your first responsibility is to catch the ball and then worry about the return. He just lost his concentration there. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. Gets out to about the 21. It's second down, seven to go. Ball on their own 21. The 35 yard line. First down. We've got a first and ten. Ball on their own 35. They'll keep it on the ground again. Makes it out to about the 43. White gets eight yards on the play. San Diego State just took their first time out. And he's level at the 46 yard line. That's a game of three on the play. First down. It's first and ten. Ball on the 46 yard line. hit immediately that play was going nowhere yeah give a lot of credit to the defense here recognizing pass and swarming to the receiver so the Aztecs had one of their key players go down earlier but it looks like he might be able to get back in the lineup they'll line up with five wide receivers tackle at the 41 yard line when you can move the ball downfield in big chunks like that You've got the defense right where you want them. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Ready, he sails it long. Looks to a receiver. Touchdown. Great effort by the wide receiver. And not to take anything away from the quarterback, but the wide receiver made this play. makes the PAT. They line up to kick this one away. Quinn fields it at the one. He's taken down at the 28-yard line. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. They got a few yards there, but they need to be thinking bigger right now. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Now he tries to buy some time. That's a great tackle at the 46. They'll get the first down. He made the correct decision to tuck it and go. Nevada is going to have to use their second time out of the half. Green eye, green eye. Quick strike to the receiver. Knocked out of bounds around the 31 yard line. down 10 yards to go 
Ball on the 31. that quickly incomplete. That's what can happen when you run the same play. Yeah, you need to be aware of that and try to mix things up to keep the defense off balance. Watch 48. Watch 48. Hey, we got to get the stop here, D. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. And he's taken down around the 29-yard line. That'll bring up third and eight. The quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Quick throw. Very good tackle in space. So close, but they fall short of the first down. You've got to throw the ball a little deeper next time. Don't take any chances of coming up short. Looks like they're going to go for it on fourth down. One more play now before we hit halftime, so they'll most likely throw one towards the end zone here. He launches one for the end zone. Last drive ended with as good a result as you can hope for, and I'm sure they'd like to replicate that here. Well, it's one thing to have speed. It's another thing to have an idea of what you're doing and how to attack the defense. And right now, these wide receivers clearly have done an outstanding job in being able to make their reads and getting out of their breaks, and the quarterback put the ball right on the money. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. Both of these defenses are opportunistic. They're very good at forcing turnovers. But both quarterbacks, David, have done a very good job while trying to maintain an aggressive mindset. They haven't forced the ball. The runners have done a good job keeping it put away. Yeah, and as much as you preach that all throughout the week, it's still hard to do. It's hard to execute. And being able to see what you see on the defensive side of the football and adjust to it offensively, how about protecting the quarterback so he's not getting hit from the blind side, fumbling the football, ball carriers running with the football, keeping it tight to their body, not giving it away. So, you know, between running backs, receivers, and quarterbacks, offensive linemen blocking, did a great job executing on the offensive side of the football, not to create, not to give away any turnovers. Looking forward to seeing this second half. I think there's certainly a want for victory. A want and a need for victory. Some teams need this victory, Reese Davis. Want, need, got to go get it either way. Brad and Kirk are there to deliver. All right, Reese and David, thanks, guys. Second half action just about ready to start here. He'll return it from the six. <laughs> Both sides have made their way back out, and we're just about set to get going again. San Diego State is up a score. Here we go. Three, nine, Three, nine, nice run there. White gains about four yards on the play. Second down and seven. Ball on the 31. short of the line of scrimmage. to the halfback on the screen. He's pushed out of bounds around the 33-yard line. Moore awaits the snap. And down he goes to the 37-yard line. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. He makes his way to about the 48. Quick 
strike and he drops it. From their own 48 yard line, it's second down. Makes the catch and the defense is all over him. They bring him down for a loss. That's a loss of about three. Not much going on there. Those kind of plays will not work against this defense. You can be sure of that. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 42. A screen pass gets it to the back they'll get him for a loss loss of three they really just didn't have any room to work on that play the defense just suffocated him there marshall back deep to return And he makes it out to about the 37-yard line. Well, the guys are chomping at the bit down there, waiting for the game to start back up. San Diego State is up seven. Play fake. Here comes the defense. And he's tackled at the 44-yard line. You know, the wide receiver here does a good job of running a nice route, but I think it's the concentration of what he did at the end of the route that made the difference. He felt the coverage. He knew that he had a man on him, but he's able to keep the defender away from the football and go up and make a nice catch. First and 10, ball on the 44-yard line. And down he goes at about the 31. First and ten. Fourth down. So the kicker comes out. He'll try to put three points on the board. San Diego State is hoping to make this a two-score game. Kicks away, and he just drilled it from long range. Yeah, he got some good leg behind it, and he kicked an accurate ball right between the goalposts. 17-7, San Diego State. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He sends this one deep. San Diego State's continuing to play extremely tough defense. This has been impressive. It's just been impressive to watch them play with such an attitude, almost a chip on their shoulder with the energy that they're playing with. I think it's going to require that kind of effort to be able to win this game. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Got a man, but he's tackled back behind the line of scrimmage. Duncan in the backfield at the 24-yard line. That'll bring up second and 11. It's second and 11. Ball on the 24-yard line. Three down, three down. 97 is the mic, 97 is the mic. Red two, three, nine. On three, on three. Motion, motion, motion. Tackled after a decent pickup. Game five on the play. That'll bring up third and six. He's 
taken down at about the 37 yard line. He's under pressure. He's going to go for the home run. And they make the stop right around the 12 yard line. The pass was a little bit high, but this kid had no trouble adjusting and making a great play. The 13 yard line. Call the loss of one yard on the play. That'll bring up second and 11. Second down and 11 yards to the sticks. Ball on the 13. He laterals the ball. And they push him out at the two yard line. Five wide. Going to be sacked for a loss. Loss is eight yards on the play. That makes it fourth and eight. That's three down and one to go. San Diego State's got a ten point lead. in this very pivotal fourth quarter. They'll spread the field with five wide. There's a strike complete. Drop down at the five. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. He's tackled around the seven yard line. Down to two yards. That makes it second and eight. It's second down and eight. Ball on their own seven. The halfback with a carry. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. The 17-yard line. Number 49 on the tackle at the 17-yard line. First, First and 10. Ball on the 17. There's a strike complete. He's down. McKinney makes the tackle at the 23-yard line. That'll make it second and four. Gets to about the 24-yard line. That makes it third and three. And they'll look to convert here on another third down. Yard line. Brown with the tackle at the 31 yard line. That makes it first and 10. From their own 31 yard line. It's first down. A little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Off the right side, doesn't get much. Good tackle. Nevada just took their first time out. This is the eighth play of this drive. Tackle after a decent 
decent run up the gut. He gets four, maybe five yards on the counter. Nevada is going to have to use their second time out of the half. They've looked good so far on third down in this drive. Let's see what happens here. Complete. He's got room. And he's taken down around the 35-yard line. Well, they're living on the edge here a little bit, but, you know, they're converting when they have to. Tenth play of the drive. it to the 27. That's good for a gain of eight yards. That makes it second and two. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. They keep it on the ground with a tailback, and he makes it out to about the 24-yard line. That's a gain of three on the play. First down. This is the 12th play of this drive. Him hard at the 21. Second down at seven coming up here. Ball on the 21 yard line. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. He takes a knee. This is the 14th play of this drive. And the ball game's over, and our final score in this one, 17-7, Aztec. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit, this is Brad Nessler saying thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.